Justice League issue 50, Cy Spurrier rating with Aaron Lapresti on the art. This is the double size special issue 50, which actually just acts as essentially issues 3 and 4 of a 4 issue arc. It just happens to be one big issue. Uh, so, Cara forgot to read this this week. I will read it. I will be back on for the next issue. I genuinely did not realize this was out. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Mm. I've been enjoying this, this, uh, this arc. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if I need this to be a double-sized issue. I, I, I kind of felt a little bit, and I don't know if it's just because it's the page count and I, I had a lot of stuff to read or, or what, but I, I was feeling a little bit the... Because, you know, it's definitely been like a, a B-tier, just kind of alright book, right? It's not been one of the more exciting things. Uh, ultimately, I, I'm going to kind of gloss over some of the the fighting and whatnot. There's a, the big thing in this issue is that Batman starts to act a little out of character. And it's intentional because they all start noticing it. It's like, wait, why is Batman suggesting such weird stuff? Because uh, at one point, Batman says, we've, oh, they've got main control tech. Why don't we just main control everyone? And I immediately went, wait a minute, like, an infinite crisis, you were so anti-main control. This is like, so, I mean, we've got an actual big example of Batman being so against this. Uh, it is explained, though, there is a reason for it. Uh, the, the, the former queen is kind of controlling him uh, with a device on his forehead. Uh, if you remember, Batman was kind of confronted uh, at the end of last issue. We didn't really see the outcome of that. Um... So, you know, they continue to struggle with what's going on. More uh, audio clips of what they're just like are saying to each other when they're fighting are taken out of context and played to the, mm-hmm. the populace. Uh, the two kids they saved in the original ship that they found, one of them went the cyborg route, one's went in the, the metahuman route. And they basically hate each other now. Like, they've, they've turned into like complete rivals. Uh, they, they refuse to be in a room with each other. And it's through these two that Wonder Woman kind of tries to find common ground and by the end of the book kind of convinces them to work with each other uh, as kind of a an example that they can kind of forge ahead and and all that uh ultimately they find out that the queen was kind of behind everything and that she wanted to start this war with this other planet and uh, mainly because all this with the justice league would ultimately have the 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 population kind of beg to be like taken over and like want to be mm-hmm. ruled and want to be submissive and that's different from forcing it so that's what she wanted that's what she's hoping to get but wonder woman records some of what she says and plays it back to everyone and finally is able to kind of convince them that hey maybe you can go forward maybe you can coexist uh and so on because all of their differences are basically just all fabricated anyway uh I, so I, i've kind of like quickly sped through what the gist of what happens in the issue that that's kind of the whole thing um but it is like you know 48 pages <laughs> of, of of story uh, it takes a while to get there. There's a lot of fighting with the ships in the sky. Uh, there's, you know, the debates between the characters. The, you know, some bickering here or there. Uh, they are pretty solid, uh, if, if not special. But that just kind of goes with the last couple issues. And, you know, the character beats... Sometimes the characters are a little bit catty with each other. You know, there's a point where Flash at one point says to one like, oh, drop it, Diana. You know, or something like that. It's, there's just little snipes at each other that feels a little bit uh, testy. Um, but, uh, yeah, ultimately Wonder Woman actually, there's like a reveal later on that Batman's been faking being mind controlled for a little bit, uh, cause Wonder Woman used the lasso to sort of deactivate the device, uh, and then ultimately, uh, that's how they kind of win by the end. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I know Connor's complaints was kind of Wonder Woman was on her own side and no one was really siding with her, uh, and ultimately here she sort of discovered to be like in the right, essentially, where ultimately she was in the right the whole time. I'm uh, shocked. <laughs> uh but yeah so it's all right it was it was perfectly readable I, it's kind of one of those things where i would have probably preferred reading this as two separate issues just because i don't think i was into the story enough to really want to sit down well i've got other books to read to sit down and read like a 50 page uh or 40 whatever page onslaught is there a obvious split point does it oh you know does it feel like this was always could have been two issues or like, nah, you, know, you could read this in two sittings or is it just it's been adapted into one pretty much nah, it's pretty clear that it was always written as one story but I, I don't think it would take too much from the writer to you know split it neatly st- yeah. structure it and just sort of to say what your cliffhanger is i feel like the cliffhanger maybe, maybe batman being mind controlled or something could be the cliffhanger you'd have to juggle around the order of a couple of things maybe but uh you could Nothing have done too some complicated, of that. Yeah. yeah uh so yeah, they leave and the planet's got a chance and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, it's all right. I, I don't have a whole lot of further analysis other than, you know, what we've said before, but the, this, this arc. So uh, next issue, we start off in the, the Death Metal tie-ins. Is that right? I believe so. 
Yeah. No. Right. No. 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 We got the Jeff Loveness two issue arc first. So, so we get a month yeah. of uh, another thing, and then we get the Death Metal tie-ins. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jeff Loveness, uh, I believe he's, he's known for a, a, being a Rick and Morty writer. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, no idea what to expect. Yeah, because I assume the humor that he normally has in that won't carry over to a Justice League comic. Yeah, I think I think he's done a couple of Marvel books like recently, like in the last few well, months. So. He did the last Shazam book before Johns. Back. Oh yeah, and I like yeah, that issue. Yeah, the, the well, fill-in. Yeah. So, I thought that was solid enough. Uh, Matt, are you going to read the two issue thing, or are you wait until the death metal? Well, well, I'll see. I'll see in what the weeks look like if I sure. have time, because I'm I'm even behind on the Venditti Superman that I really like. Um, just because again, I, it's hockey's fault. So much um, sports. It is. I can't like. Anyways, I, I, anyway, I, yeah. I, I was I was up to date on my movies, what one a day for the whole year, and then yeah. the Snooker World Championship started, and now I've like watched like three in the yeah, past. Well, ho well, hold on, so let me rate this just for the, the clean cut on YouTube. Go ahead. God damn it! Uh, so uh, I'll probably just give it a straight seven. It's fine. It's fine. Readable. Uh, art's not bad, but nothing to write home about. So.